Sadly, this day and age, concerns over student safety at school are nothing new. But now, new worries in Pueblo. A group of high schoolers robbed at gunpoint not far from campus. Good evening, I'm Heather Skold. And I'm Bart Bedsoll. We just learned a short time ago that a woman is in the Pueblo County Jail tonight for her involvement in robbing multiple high school students at gunpoint. And today, a mother opens up to 13 investigates about the moments her son had a gun pointed at his head near South High School yesterday afternoon. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live right where that robbery happened along Sherwood Lane in South Pueblo. Sean. Yeah, Heather, it was Sabrina Valdez's son's second day of high school and his first day walking home from school here near South High School. She says he never expected to be looking down the barrel of a gun in broad daylight. Not even a half a block away from the school. My kids should be protected within this area. Just yards away from Pueblo South High School, this red car allegedly stopped three students and demanded their belongings on Wednesday afternoon. Pueblo police say this woman, 18-year-old Amor Velasquez, was involved. She's been charged with aggravated robbery and is in the Pueblo County Jail. All three of the kids cooperated. You know, they gave up what they asked for because God only knows what could have happened to them. You know, they could have shot him knowing that they had these guns at their heads. The robbers allegedly took the students' backpacks, shoes, and phones. The mother is less concerned about material items and more concerned about Pueblo South High School never entering a lockdown status with reports coming in that other students were robbed in surrounding areas. It happened to my son at 341 in the afternoon. I called the police um, about almost 350. The other kids got... There's stuff at, taken at gunpoint a little after four. School didn't get out till 420. Why wasn't it put on a lockdown? District 60 issued a statement to 13 investigates saying because the incident did not happen on school grounds and with students dismissed, the district was not immediately aware as to what transpired. The district says they communicated with families as soon as they were alerted to the crimes. Meanwhile, Pueblo Police says it's looking into other potential robberies and crimes committed by the trio. Tricking up, my seven-year-old is pretty... Mom, are they going to come back after us? Can we wear our shoes to school? And I'm like, it, you're not walking from school. I'm picking you up. But still there again, you know, to have a seven-year-old worried if they're going to be at safe at school. Pueblo police say they are currently building a case against those other suspects involved. So far, only one arrest has been made, and the names of those additional suspects have not yet been released. Reporting live in Pueblo, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Let's hope more information will be forthcoming from that one suspect who has been arrested. Sean, thank you.